Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. On my way back from a walk, not a long walk. I didn't take you guys along because I didn't want you to go through all the bobbing up and down. <laughs> I noticed on the last video that I went for a walk with you guys. So I decided to just go on a walk and uh, have a chat with you guys afterwards after I go inside and get me a coffee and uh, talk about why I didn't do the review for the Oxen Farms cheese powder that I was gonna put up and also a, a few thoughts on some of the comments from yesterday's videos, all right? So we'll see you here. Well, I hope everyone's having a good day today. Beautiful day out here today. Beautiful day for a walk as the temperature is perfect. I didn't take a look at the, uh, uh, what a thermometer, but uh, it feels like it's in the low 60s, if not the very high 50s. So it's perfect day for going for a walk. Uh, it did rain a little bit last night and this rain is just the it's a crutch i know we need it but it's a crutch to getting things done around the house especially for me because i really want to get my house done and uh and start working on my homesteading skills <laughs> of which i have none <laughs> so let me give you guys a quick update on the oxen farms uh cheddar cheese powder blend and I was actually going to do a video last night showing you guys a review of that product. And then I started reading the ingredients on one of my old cans. And I have, I think, three cans that are like seven years old. And uh, I was reading the ingredients and I was very disappointed. All right. And of course, around seven years ago, seven to eight years ago, roughly, is when I started prepping. So I got those cans right when I started prepping. And obviously, I am more astute now as to when I'm buying something, uh, to reading all the ingredients, all the nutritional information, and all of those things. And uh, I was not back then. I was just getting stuff to get stuff, right? I wasn't even really trying them out. So uh, on the ingredients on the can that I got, it had uh, artificial coloring in it and i'm like oh no that is not something and I, I automatically felt bad for recommending that to you guys because it was on sale and i told myself that is not something that i want to recommend to you know my community or to our community all right it's not my community our community so i decided to go online and take a look at the cans of oxen farms cheddar cheese blend that are being sold today and thankfully I was very relieved to see that those artificial ingredients artificial colorings and things like that are taken out they're no longer there they were replaced with natural colorings like anato and uh, I think beet juice which is good all right and I noticed they replaced a couple other ingredients in there so what I'm going to do is is I'm going to wait until the cans that I ordered that are fresh come in so I can review that one so that I can be giving you giving you all good information instead of outdated information okay uh, I I am not getting rid of the cans that I have that I purchased in the past I'm keeping those uh, however uh, like I said I want to test out the cans uh, or the product that I am telling you guys that it's on sale all right uh, I don't know how long that sale is going to last, and it's only on Amazon from what I understand. I looked at, I looked for that same product on the Oxen Farm site, and they did not have it on sale. So Amazon is the only place that I see that it's on sale. So if any of you order that cheese from Amazon, make sure that the ingredients on that package is the same as the ingredients that it shows on the Amazon page. OK, uh, and if it's not, by all means, return it. All right. Because it should be the exact same product that you receive that you are paying for. OK, I don't know if they would do something like that, like try to sell you some product that's older. All right. At a sale price like that. I don't know. But I do know that the product that they're showcasing on their site shows a new ingredients list compared to the one from seven years ago that I got. Okay, so that's why I didn't do that review, but I will be doing it as soon as I get those cans that I ordered in. And if those cans come in and they do have those same ingredients as the ones that, that, that I have that are seven year old, I will be returning them, all right? But I'll let you guys know and you'll see. So as soon as I get those, I'll go ahead and uh, 
and do a review on that for you guys. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let me know if there's anything else that you guys want me to review other than the essentials that I uh, received uh, from from essentials. Uh, I may do a review on one of their side items probably tomorrow. All right, not today, but probably tomorrow or the next day. I may do a review on one of those. All right, just uh, to let you guys know what they're like. I was going to do a review on each of those items they sent me every Sunday. However, they sent me a few items. All right, so it'll take probably a month or so if I do a re one review of each item every Sunday. So I'll probably do a review here now and then until I run out. And I also have uh, Valley Food Storage, I believe it's called. Uh, they are sending me some some free samples as well so that I can review. And I do know that uh, in the past I have seen some of our community members mention that Valley Food Storage is good because they're all natural. They're all non-GMO. Uh, I believe they offer gluten-free and uh, they like it. I've never had the Valley Food Storage, not that I can remember. Uh, I hope I'm getting the name right too, all right? Uh, I they are one of my I am one of their affiliates as well, but I haven't tried their product and they have a shipment on the way. So hopefully it'll get here soon and I'll be able to review some of their products to let you know what it's like because like I said, every uh everything has its niche and its customer base and I do know that this Valley Food Storage, I I know that they are like all natural, non-GMO. That's kind of like what they market themselves as being. So hopefully there'll be a really good product that some of you that uh, have those concerns about GMO foods, which I do as well, but also have concerns about like gluten-free diets and things like that. You may be able to look into some of their products because I know that uh, they offer a variety of those things. All right. So when those come in again, I'll be doing a review on those. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know also if you want me to do reviews on any kind of equipment that you may be looking at and, um, if I can get a hold of it, I'll, you know, be more than happy to do a review. I am going to do a video here, hopefully soon, on a gadget that I'm working on that is going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to leave it at that, but I'm very excited about this. And it's something that I'm building from the ground up. Um, and it's going to be pretty interesting. And if it works, it's going to be great. I can't wait to share that with you. I'm pretty sure it's going to work because I've done a little bit of research behind it. And it's a little bit geeky, you know, it's so, it's somewhat of a geeky um, uh, creation, you know. There's a little bit of science behind it, I mean, you know. And I'm nowhere really geeky. I'm not very uh, good when it comes to science and chemistry and all that kind of stuff. But it does have some of that involved. But uh, hopefully I'll have that out soon. Now I wanted to go over a couple of... Uh, comments that i read off of the last few videos and the first one is someone asked me ap why don't you show yourself more often on your videos <laughs> and uh i didn't really reply back but uh obviously it's no longer a problem with opsec because in the world that we live in, more than likely anyone can find out where I live just by a simple internet search, all right, and or by the IP address that I use off my computer, okay? So I don't think it's an OPSEC issue anymore of why I don't really show myself on video that often. But um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to keep the distraction off of myself, you know, and... Uh, concentrate on the message all right um i don't want you guys to be distracted with you know how good looking i am and then not even listen to what i'm saying <laughs> uh just kidding ladies and gentlemen although i have gotten a few offers uh of marriage uh, all right in the past and uh, <laughs> uh unfortunately or not unfortunately goodness gracious uh, I've been married for a little over 27 years now, and I'm extremely happily married, believe it or not. All right. And uh, also, I just want to keep the I want to keep your guys' attention on the message. All right. Uh, there's different people from different parts of the world, different religions, you know, different ideologies, different everything. And everyone's always going to. Uh, not everyone, but some people will always concentrate on the negative, all right, and not take away any of the positives. 
All right. So if I just concentrate on sharing my message with you, all right, I obviously every once in a while, I don't mind appearing on camera just to say hi, because it is more personable to do that. But I really want to share my message with you. And I really want to encourage people to start preparing and to do it in a manner that actually uh, complements their lifestyle. All right. And um, I just don't feel that I have to be on camera all the time to do that. Plus, I don't really have the equipment. And uh, as you saw at the beginning of this video, uh, during the introduction of this video, uh, I was holding a selfie shot with my camera. And I don't think I have the uh, shoulder muscle strength to do that for 15 or 20 minutes. If any of you think that's easy, go ahead and hold a penny in front of you, you know, with your arms extended for five minutes. See if you can do it. It's pretty tough. All right. And also on a more serious uh, matter. So I got some very, very good comments, very constructive comments on yesterday's video where I mentioned that I was thinking about maybe doing a, a uh, half hour pro bono uh, phone chat uh, with a, with a, with a uh, community member that really needs to talk to someone about prepping and a half hour, uh, I would call it charity chat with a community member that can afford to donate to the coffee fund for charity. And uh, I would do that as well. And some of you made some very constructive comments that I would really have to think about and maybe get some, some uh, guidance, you know, from one of my mentors uh, on this. Because it makes a lot of sense what you're saying. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a good person. I've always considered myself to be a good person. You know, I like... I like the person that I am, you know, and uh, that's not an easy thing nowadays. Nowadays, a lot of people, uh, believe it or not, they are not satisfied with who they are and or with their lives. And that's not a, you know, and that's a, that's a terrible thing as far as I'm concerned. Me, I'm very happy with where I am in life. Uh, and I am very happy with who I am as a person. All right. That's why when when I get criticized on any comments about whatever it may be. All right. Uh, it's not extreme. It's not easy to just let it go. But, you know, it's not hard either. You know, and, and the reason I'm saying it's not easy to just let it go is because it makes me feel somewhat sad for whoever made a bad comment, you know, because it makes me feel sad for them. All right. Because obviously they haven't grown up as a person uh, and it always depends, too, on their age. OK, with age comes wisdom. And uh, it may be that some of these bad, pe bad comments come from people that maybe don't have too much experience in life. And that's OK. And that's what makes it easy for me to let it go is that I can understand that some people are in different places in their lives and they may not have the experience or wisdom necessary to understand that when you have someone trying to help you and you may not agree with something they say or do, that it's okay to disagree. But uh, look for the message within the message, all right? Don't just uh, leave uh, with, you know, with the bad that you saw. Try to leave with something that's good. Okay, you know, I hope you understand what I mean, all right? You can always get some good out of a message, even if you disagree with it, okay? So some people were commenting that I should be very careful about doing those uh, phone chats because it may open myself up to, uh, you know, bad things. You know, I don't want to say, you know, as far as the legality of my recommendations and or suggestions or opinions and stuff like that, speaking directly to one person, one on one, that it may open me up to or it may uh, open me up to uh, having le legal issues in the future. And, you know, that is a very good observation, you know, and it's not something that I would have really thought about because I just I really don't see people in a bad light. Uh, I usually give everyone the benefit of the doubt, no matter what, no matter what their stance in life is. I've always given people the benefit of the doubt. You know, I've always said, I don't really care what your past is. What matters to me is how you treat me, all right, and how you treat my family and how you treat others, at least in front of me. If I see you do something bad to someone else in front of me, 
that's going to, you know, give me an opinion of who and how you are, right? So that's what really matters to me. The past of someone never really mattered to me. I've always started fresh with anyone that I've met. I didn't care where they came from or what kind of a history they had. Uh, but I guess it is a real possibility that uh, we can have a troll out there, you know, make believe that they really need help and then try to hurt myself and or our community in ways that I never really thought about. Because, uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of times when bad things happen and I won't I won't mention specifically what bad things, but a lot of times when bad things happen and people do bad things, I ask myself, how in the world did they even think of doing that? Because I would have never thought of doing something like that. It would have never crossed my mind. You know, I would have probably never thought of doing something like that or seeing something like that had I not just, you know, seen it or read about it or, or you know, seen a video about it. So uh, that is, I guess, in a way, it's a flaw, you know, that I have that, you know, I'm, I guess you could say I'm kind of gullible. You know, if somebody comes up to me and says, hey, I really do need help, I take them for their word. I don't really investigate on whether they need help or not, you know. So that is something that I'm going to have to look into. So I'll probably have to put that on hold for a while and see if there is a way that we can get around that. I was thinking about maybe if I did talk to someone, uh, recording the first 30 seconds or a minute and uh, telling them like, listen, everything I'm telling you is my opinion. I'm not telling you to do anything or something like that. But, you know, we'll work around it. However, there is some good news. You know, I do still have email and I do still read all of them and I'm getting more and more. And I will let you all know uh, if I start getting overwhelmed. I've tried to return every email that I've received. Uh, probably missed some because I like I got on my email uh, account uh, late last night before I went to bed. And late for me, ladies and gentlemen, is like 9 p.m. <laughs> That's late for me, okay? One of the problems that I have uh, with my sleep is is that it doesn't matter what time I go to sleep. I always wake up around the same time. I always wake up really, really early in the morning. If I go to bed at 11 o'clock at night, I'm going to wake up around 3, 3.30 in the morning. If I go to bed around 8 o'clock at night, I'll wake up at 3.30 in the morning. You know, it doesn't matter what time. So uh, that's one of the problems that I have with my sleep. And um, uh, so I do try to go to bed a little early so I can get at least a good six hours. Maybe if I get a six hour uh, sleep in one night, that is really, really good for me. OK, but I've been I've gotten used to it over the years, not getting that much sleep. All right. So like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to think on that and uh, see what we can come up with. Now, I want to let you all know about a giveaway that we're doing that is going to be awesome. All right. You guys are going to love this giveaway, all right? So let me tell you about it. Not this Sunday, but the Sunday of the 23rd, we are going to be giving away some uh, of the Stanley Crock-Pots, all right? And why did I say we? Because my anonymous donor gave me a call and said that they would be willing to match however many I was going to give away. And I was already planning on giving away those crock pots. I was planning on giving away five of them. And my anonymous donor said, well, okay, then I'm going to go ahead and match you. So let's go ahead and give away 10. And I was like, that is awesome. So to our anonymous donor, thank you very much. Uh, may many blessings come your way. Uh, truly do appreciate your generosity. And that's good for you guys. You know why? Because 10 of you are going to be getting some of those crock pots. All right, so I hope that you guys join me on the live chat on the 23rd of this month, okay? Now, this weekend, I'm not going to be putting up a live chat. It is uh, Father's Day on Sunday, and I do not want to take away from that day in any way whatsoever, okay? Um, uh, I may put up a, a short video uh, during the weekend, but I won't be doing a live chat this weekend, okay? Which is kind of a bummer for me because I truly do enjoy the live chat. Uh, however, Sunday is going to be a day for myself as well. I'm going to enjoy uh, uh, the fact that I have two beautiful children and they have been a very big blessing in my life, all right? So I'm going to enjoy that all day long and probably harass them all day 
and uh, have fun while doing so. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, listen, that's going to be about it. Let's see. Oh, wow. It's about time for me to start getting ready for work. Actually, I'm running a little late right now. I'm not even dressed for work yet. But uh, it's about time for me to go. I'm going to have to hurry up to get to work. Uh, I hope that you guys all have a great day. As you can see, it's looking like it's going to be a beautiful day here today. I hope that you guys have a good day where you are as well. All right. Thank you very much for joining in. Uh, thank you very much to uh, the Patreons. If you guys would like to uh, join our Patreon group, go ahead and uh, click the link and just go take a look. All right. Uh, I'm going to start adding a few things uh, on the Patreon site uh, so that uh, the people that are there uh, will at least get uh, their money's worth for whatever they're contributing. Uh, you can contribute the very minimum if you like. I think it's like a dollar is the minimum. All right. But you don't have to, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the main purpose for that site is... Uh, just in case something happens to my channel a year, a year and a half or two down the road that I still have, that I have something that I'm familiar with and that we can all shift over to uh, for those that want to shift over there. All right. Uh, however, I do believe that the people that are there that are contributing should get a little something. So I'll probably be doing like a, a very small giveaway, you know, once we have enough people over there. Uh, just to the Patreons with what they contribute, but don't let that uh, don't let, let that don't let that make you think that I'm not going to continue doing giveaways here because I love doing giveaways for the community because uh, I love giving back to you guys, all right? Because you guys do a lot uh, to help the community as a whole with sharing your experiences and uh, giving your recommendations and encouragement to one another. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So just remember, if you guys want to support the channel, take a look at the links under the description and take a look at the links that I post on a pinned comment on almost every one of my videos. All right, that's a way for you guys to support the channel without having to dig into your pockets and I truly do appreciate it. All right, having said that, I truly hope you guys have a great day today. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here and I'm definitely gonna have a good day even though I'm gonna go and work in an office, but at least I have a window. <laughs> All right, so remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper and I'm out.